OK, so in this video, what I want to do is go through finding uh, probabilities using your calculator. So we're going to start off with a binomial distribution with n as 12 and probability of success being 0.3. OK, so first of all, basic one, finding a particular value, x equals 5. OK, so you're first of all going to want to go to menu and then number 7 for distribution and then uh, binomial PD, uh, number four, and then you want to go to variable, okay, option number two. So we've gone for PD because we want a particular value, okay? So we want when X is five, and N is 12, and the probability of success is 0 0.3. Press equals, and we get 0 0.1585 to four decimal places. OK, so that's our first one. Now, number two, the probability of x being less than or equal to 7. Now, we could work out probabilities of x being 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and add them all together. We don't want to have to do that. It's too long-winded. OK, so here we are looking at less than or equal to 7. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. OK, so on your calculator, if you go back into menu number seven and then you want to scroll down to binomial CD. Now, CD, the C represents cumulative. So the cumulative probabilities will add up for you all those probabilities in one go. So you don't have to find them all individually. OK, now the binomial CD, be warned will only find less than or equal to. OK, so it comes with a disclaimer. It only finds you less than or equal to. So any of these questions that aren't just less than or equal to, we're going to need to use our intuition about how we're going to manipulate that answer. So binomial CD. Uh, we want to go into variable again. OK, and now the x in this case is 7. You want less than or equal to 7. Probably, uh, n is 12, probably is 0.3. And you get 0 0.9905 to four decimal places. Right, less than 4. So on our number line, less than 4 would be those. OK, 0, 1, 2 and 3. So actually, less than 4 is the same as less than or equal to 3 for a discrete probability distribution. So now we can go back in and change the x value in the binomial CD to 3. And we get 0 0.4925. So that's the probability we were looking for. For greater than 4, OK, so now... Right, let's scrub those out. Greater than 4 would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now, thinking back to your discrete probability distributions, all of the probabilities, the whole lot, must add up to 1. So, I can use my calculator to find a less than or equal to. Okay. So, if I do 1 and then take away the bit I don't want less than or equal to 4, I'll be left with all the probabilities that I want. So I can do 1 take away less than or equal to 4 in order to get my answer. So if I go back in and do x as 4, I can get 1 take away 0.723, uh, should I round it? Let's keep, uh, I'll just write out the whole thing. OK, so then I can go back in and do one takeaway, 0.723655496, and that will get me 0 0.2763 to four decimal places. OK? Right, go back into distribution, so I'm ready. OK, so x is greater than or equal to 3. So greater than or equal to 3 
would mean all of those from 3 up to 12. So I can use a similar technique. I could do one take away the probability of the bit I don't want, which is less than or equal to 2. So x is 2, n is 12, probability is 0 0.3. So 1 take away 0 0.25281534796. Okay, so 1 take away 0 0.25281534796. Is 0.7472 to four decimal places. Okay, right. Now the next one is x is greater than zero but less than or equal to three. Okay, so greater than zero but less than or equal to three would be those three data items there. OK, those three points. So that should be the same then as the probability of x being less than or equal to 3. So all four of those, and then take away the one I don't want, which is the 0. So take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 0. Now, x is less than or equal to 0 is just the same as x equaling 0. OK? So we've got the less than or equal to 3 up here, OK? So I really want uh, to get it to four decimal places. I'm going to need uh, one more decimal place. So if we go back in, so variable uh, 3 and then uh, 12 and 0 0.3, OK? We'll get the uh, 0 0.49251577747. Then take away the probability of 0 is 0.01384128.72. So 7 take away 0.01384128.72. So 0 0.4787 to four decimal places. OK? Right. Last one, then. Now, x here is going to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 6. So greater than or equal to 1, but less than 6. So then those 5. So I want to find the probability of x being less than or equal to 5 and take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 0 again. OK, so if I get 5, so 5, 12.3, uh, that's 0 0.88215121, and I'm going to take away that 0 0.01384128.72 again. OK, so my final answer here, 821. 51261, take away 0.0138412872, okay, is 0.8683 to four decimal places. Okay, so that is how we can find probabilities utilising our calculator, utilising a number line to help us, and to find any uh, variation on this thing.